Hello everyone, in this video we will look at the features of Lucid's Colibra Cognose Template. Lucid Colibra Cognose Template loads Cognose metadata into Colibra. In this video, we will look at how the Cognose metadata is organized in Colibra and how the lineage is presented across dependent Cognose elements when the assets are loaded. Following are the assets and relations that get loaded from Cognos into Colibra. Report that contain report layouts, which in turn hold report attributes. These then link to query subjects, which contain query items. Dimension, hierarchy, and measures. Logical layer holds the assets of the framework model layers or the cube models. There could be multiple layers nested here. Finally, the relation of these assets to the physical layer that has data elements such as tables, views, and columns. The red line represents the column level lineage from the report attributes in a report to the dimensions and measures and finally, to the underlying data sources. Let us now see how these are represented in Colibra when loaded using the Cognos template. The template provides options to filter the metadata extraction based on a Cognos server, folder path of Cognos reports and the framework model, for load into Colibra. For this demo, let us look at a report named Sales. It uses a sales and marketing framework model as its data source. The report contains two report pages namely analysis of sold products and survey and promotions. The first contains two report layouts, sales trend, and product returns. The second page contains three report layouts. If we select the quantity sold through top 10 advertisements layout, it shows usage of the query subject. Analysis of sold products quantity. Looking at that query subject, we see it uses three query items and two filters. Now let us look at the sales and marketing framework model to understand how it is structured. The sales and marketing framework model has three layers dimensional view, business view, and the database view. If we look at the quantity field in the report, part of the quantity sold through top 10 advertisements layout, the field uses the quantity field in the dimensional view layer and the promotion fact entity. Switching back to that field in the model, it seems to be linked to a similar field in the business view layer. Looking at the linked field in the business view, it further links to an equivalent field in the database view layer. That linked field in the database view layer finally refers to a physical database using a database query. Now let us switch to Colibra to see how all of these metadata are organized as assets. A community based on user input is created. The assets are then organized under various domains. Cognos Report Assets domain holds the report level assets such as the report, report layout, and report attributes. Query subjects and query items are in the Cognos Query Assets domain. Cognos Semantic Layer Assets domain holds the assets of the framework model layers or the cube model assets. The physical assets such as the schema, tables, and columns from the data sources is to be loaded as domains named as DB name greater than schema name under subcommunities named based on the database server. This follows the Colibra catalog naming. These physical assets are expected to be loaded using relevant database template or through Colibra catalog. Let us now look at each of the asset types in detail loaded for the sales report. Let us look at the Cognos report assets domain which holds the desired sales report. This shows the complete hierarchy of the Cognos assets. The report grouping the layouts, which in turn group the report attributes. Drilling into the report asset page, 
We see it contains description, all the report attributes that it holds across the report layouts, list of the report layouts, the query subjects it is linked to and the date of last refresh of metadata into Colibra. Drilling into one of the layout asset page, we see it contains layout type, the report attributes, the query subject it is linked to, the report it is part of and finally, the last refresh date into Colibra. Let us click on the analysis of sold product quantity query subject and see the details. It shows the query items it contains. The two filters it contains is also shown with the, the filter expressions. Finally the layout and report the query subject is linked to are shown. Let us click on the rank report attribute and see the details. It shows the report and layout it is part of. It shows the query item it is linked to and its last refresh date into Colibra. If we click on the lineage diagram, we see a complete traceability showing how the report attribute is linked to the query item. This then links to the attributes across the three layers of the framework model that we saw. If the physical database assets are loaded via Lucid's database template or via the catalog, the linkage from the last model layer further to the database assets will also be enabled. If we see the lineage at the report level for the sales report, it shows how the lineage of all the report attributes flow across various layers. Hope this video helped you get a good view of Lucid Colibra Cognos templates features. For any further details, email us at colibrainfo at lucidtechsoul.com. To test drive the template with a trial subscription, visit www.lucidtechsoul.com slash downloads. Thank you.